can a salt course getting in here? Does he not like the front room? You want a cup of tea? It's all set up for him in the front room. He keeps crashing out on the sofa. Peter! Tea? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, two sugars. I was trying not to wake him. Oh, it's gone, eh? I bet he didn't get service like this in the Navy. Don't tell me you think I'm spoiling him. Well, I reckon you, uh, you're allowed a bit of spoiling of the prodigal son. You want some toast? Uh, no, no, I've no time. I'll be late. You want some toast? Yeah, yeah, marmalade if you've got it. <laughs> you're loving this, aren't you? He's my son. Well, if it makes you happy. It does. Good. Well, you won't mind cleaning up after him, will you? <laughs> you know, I dread to think what this place is going to look like when the new owners take over. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can do what they want as long as I get to keep my job. This is a traditional British public house with a unique atmosphere of its own. I mean, surely you don't want to work for a pub called the Boozy News. What's the alternative? Resigning protest? Ah, any news of Betty? Don't ask me, I only work here. They don't tell us anything. Do I sense another campaign brewing? A uh, pint and a hot pot, please. Oh, I suppose hot pot's off now, but he's gone. <laughs> Another fine tradition, bites the dust. Uh. Actually, hot pot's still on. Should put enough of it in the freezer to last the next ten years. <laughs> well, great. Can you see yourself still coming in here when it's called the boozy new? No, it wouldn't be my choice. No. Uh, neither can I. So, let's do something about it. Oh, he's off again. Like what? Fight it. You serious? Save the cobbles. Why can't we save the rovers? Mm. Best thing is... No way. Scout son, uh, you know the boozy bunny in Birmingham? They had the bar staff there wearing pointy little bunny ears, fluffy little pom-pom tails. And you actually saw this? Oh, yes. Well, surely they wouldn't make you dress up as a newt. You no, know, I see a lime green lycra cat suit, perhaps with added tail and uh, flippers. You're having me on. <laughs> Any chance of getting served? Yeah. Right, two pints, two cokes, a fizzy water and a pineapple juice. Right, coming up. You are having her on, aren't you? No, women, you can't tell. <laughs> it's between the two of us. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a picture? Just thinking about Susan. She was about your age when Baldwin married her. And your point is? I obviously like some young. And what, you're more of a grabber granny type, are you? You wouldn't be making jokes like that if you knew how badly it hurt my sister. You Barlow's got nothing better to do than slag off my husband. He's poison. You'll see. He tried his best to wreck her life. You give him a chance and he'll wreck yours. I tell you something, Barlow Junior. Your chat-up lines are going downhill fast. Toya, bring them drinks over and you've got a chance. There you go. Thanks. So it's the little things you miss the most. A good pint and a good-looking woman to serve it. My husband was in the services and he used to say exactly the same thing. Yeah, Deirdre told me about what happened between you and, uh, what's his name? Jim. Jim, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, it's no secret. Nothing round here is. <laughs> so are you coping on your own? Well, I was an army widow for more years than I care to let on, so I'll cope another four years. It's not natural, though, is it, being separated from your loved ones? If you're trying to cheer me up, it's not working. No. Sorry. <laughs> I believe that's Peter Barlow. Thank you. I'd better go and say hello. Mike, I don't want any trouble. Me? Cause trouble. Hello, son. Remember me? Been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time, I remember you. I never forget a face, unfortunately. Can I buy a drink for old time's sake? No. No, I don't think so. Was I civil? You were civil. Well, I made the effort. Maybe it's been underwater too long. What are you going to have? Um, I'll have a pint. 